try anyway and still be a believer. It's difficult to do that around people who don't practice anything. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about my relationship to religion, okay? Dina Cohen. It was summer camp, you know, a big fling. This was like my first semi-romantic experience in high school. And I was like, well, you know, why are we my girlfriend? Without really knowing what that entails at all. And then I get home and it becomes very clear to me that this person and I just wouldn't be friends outside of the context of that camp. She lived in Maine, I lived in Brooklyn. Uh, so we saw each other twice in the fall. I really lacked any sort of initiative, so I was just sort of doing it. It was bad. Like, the whole thing was bad. <laughs> Anyways, that was six months of my life, and it ended. Whatever. And then, I hear that pretty promptly she became really serious about her Judaism. I don't know the exact term. And I saw her after that, and I you know, went to go hug her, and she wouldn't touch me. Not because she hated me. Not expressly because she hated me. <laughs> but she wasn't touching any of the men. Wearing an ankle and shawl, full head covered, she even changed her name. Anyways, I've been thinking about her a lot recently. 